Welcome back. You're still tuned in to Midcap Radar. We're signed DLM. That's the stock on our radar. Uh, the stock is higher by 5.5% right now. They made, uh, uh, they made an uh, a, 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 a approval to the exchanges. There was a disclosure, that is, that they have expanded and relocated their machining business from Bangalore to a new facility in Bangalore. It would elevate the facility to 180,000 hours per annum with the addition of 20 cutting-edge machines in that 36,000 square feet of the manufacturing area. To discuss this expansion and the relocation, and a lot more, and most importantly, the outlook of the business. We have the CEO of the company joining us now, Anthony Montalbano. Uh, Anthony, good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, uh, the stock is higher by 6%. Uh, can you give us a sense of what the outlook for FY24 is in terms of growth? Margins as well, because there was some impact on margins in quarter two because of higher cost of materials. Yeah, well, it's great to be here. And uh, yes, I am coming to you from our uh, new presentation precision sheet machining operation in Bangalore, uh, where we just had the uh, inauguration for. Uh, regarding uh, the outlook, uh, it's pretty much in line with as we have guided on the growth rates uh, that we have been performing at uh, this year. And um, I think, you know, you'll see similar, um, you know, si similar parameters to what have been achieved as well. Uh, from the profitability perspective, uh, especially when you look at investments we make to support our expansion, um, including this, um, you know, site that we're at today, which is a new uh, greenfield, um, you know, location to support our, our clients' business. Okay, Anthony, hi, welcome to the show. If you could just uh, give us a couple of numbers, because considering that you are expanding your capacity, you are servicing demand, uh, I'm sure. So if you could detail what demand is like uh, in all of your segments at this point in time. Yeah. Yeah, so we've seen, uh, you know, we've we've seen pretty robust growth, uh, you know, on, on our business. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're roughly at a 30 to 50 percent year on year uh, trajectory is, is where the business has been running. Uh, we've seen uh, aero and defense uh, segments be uh, especially robust. Uh, in those um, in those areas, and then uh, industrial and medical are also uh, areas that that we are focused on. And so um, I'd say that the the trajectory is is continues to be pretty much um, as as we've been uh, you know seen uh, over the past couple quarters. And so we expect Anthony, that to continue, if you can, uh, based on what we're seeing. A lot of Okay, Anthony, if you can give us some numbers. You did say that uh, st uh, the growth rates are strong. You did grow 100% in two of your segments. First, is that sustainable? Is that a number that you're looking at? Plus, uh, FY25, with this ex extended capacity coming in, and you do have some CapEx plans as well, what is the incremental growth and margins that you're looking at? Yeah, so our, our outlook is, is very similar to... Uh, the leaders in this segment in the industry, right? And again, the, the, what we're seeing as an average uh, for the leaders in this industry are anywhere, you know, again, the range I can give is somewhere between 30 and 50 percent, and that that's where uh, we are investing uh, for the support um, of our business, and um, and that's what we're aligning our expansion towards, and that includes, um, you know, that that would include new oper you know, new new specific types of uh, operations and or equipment to support that. And um, again, it goes along the lines with the same clients. Uh, we, we continue to see um, strong demand from our uh, key uh, leading clients. You know, our business is focused on growing with a relatively small number of clients. So uh, high client acquisition is not part of the strategy. It's very much, um, you know, working with key leaders uh, we will announce a couple. Um, we, we, you know, we, we will announce some new logos as well. Um, but, but really, the, the focus is on on larger programs that are being awarded in these segments with our current clients. What is the exit run rate for your order book uh, for FY24? As of Q2, it was uh, 2,287 odd crores. Yeah, I think you know we'll, we'll continue to. Um, We'll continue to you know update those numbers as as we achieve them. Uh, you know, just being conscious of where we are, um, you know, in the quarter and in the fiscal year. Uh, there are um, you know 
there are some programs that we see that'll have some uh, you know, larger impact on this. And so, uh, you know, with the nature of our business tends to be, um, you know, with larger program awards, uh, which are, um, you know, might, might come more intermittently as opposed to uh, smaller program awards, which are higher, you know, higher in, in units and uh, maybe more consistent. So um, again, this is just due to the nature of uh, some of the integrated solutions and some of these larger programs we do with our clients. Okay, all right, Anthony, thank you so much for joining us. It was a pleasure speaking with you. That's the outlook on Sand DLM, sounding very confident on the growth prospects uh, going forward. And the stock is high by 6% in trade as we speak. We'll do one thing, we'll slip into another break for now, but there's a lot of action happening in the broader market. So we'll talk about that after this very short break. Stay tuned for that.